as the plane's delayed, I just thought I'd read uh, a few pages from my, my book, Mr. Happy Finds a Hobby by uh, Roger Hargreaves. And it goes like this. Mr. Happy is a happy sort of fellow. He lives in Happy Land, which is a happy sort of place. Behind his house, there is a wood full of happy birds. And on the other side of the wood, there is a lake full of happy fish. Hooray, I like happy fish. Here's, here's the picture. There's a happy, smiley fish. And uh, now one day, not that long ago, Mr. Happy went for a walk down through uh, the wood. As he came to the shore of the lake, he heard an unusual sound. A sound that is seldom heard in happy land. It was the sound of somebody moaning and grumbling. Mr. Happy peered round the trunk of a tree. That's what he saw. It's Mr. Grumble. At the edge of the lake, there was somebody fishing. Fishing and grumbling and grumbling and fishing. It was Mr. Grumble. Good morning, Mr. Grumble, said Mr. Happy. Shh! Shh, Mr. Grumble. Sorry, whispered Mr. Happy. Have you caught anything? Yes, I've caught a cold, grumbled Mr. Grumble. I've been sitting here all night. I hate fishing. Then why are you fishing? asked Mr. Happy. Because Mr. Quiet said it was fun. And you see, I'm trying to find something I enjoy doing. Something I can do as a hobby. <coughs> hmm, pondered Mr. Happy. I might be able to. Come on, let's see if we can find you a hobby. As they walked along, Mr. Happy thought long and hard. And as he thought, Mr. Grumble grumbled. He grumbled about the noise the birds were making. He grumbled about having to walk. But most of all, he grumbled about not having a hump hobby. Grumble, 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 grumble. First of all, they met Mr. Rush in his car. There's Mr. Rush. He's got a red car. Uh, Mr. Happy explained what, what they were doing. What's your hobby? asked Mr. Grumble. Speed, said Mr. Rush. Hop in. And they did. Mr. Grumble very quickly decided that he did not like going fast. And you can see he's, he's, he's moaning again in the back of this red car. Next they met little Miss Giggles. What's your hobby? asked Mr. Grumble. Like giggling. Giggles, Miss Giggles. So they went to the circus to see the clowns. Little Miss Giggles giggled. Mr. Happy laughed and Mr. Grumble frowned. I hate custard pies, grumbled Mr. Grumble. Doesn't like the that audience is clowns. increasing. It proved to be a very long day for Mr. Happy. They went everywhere. They went to little Miss Splendid's house, but Mr. Grumble did not like hats. Miss Splendid, she likes hats. I think my book's better than yours. <laughs> they went to Mr. Uh, Mischief's house, oh. but Mr. Grumble did not like practical jokes. And you can say, see Mr. Mischief, Mischief has got a bucket of water on Mr. Grumble. <coughs> they bounced with Mr. Bounce. Go, Mr. Bounce. That's Guido down there. And they looked through keyholes with Mr. Nosy. Go. Still not happy, is he, Mr. Grumble? But nothing was right. In fact, nothing was left. Mr. Happy had run out of ideas. As the sun was setting, they saw Mr. Impossible coming towards them down the lane. And there's Mr. Impossible. Now, the thing about Mr. Impossible is he can do anything. Now, if anybody can help us, that somebody ought to be Mr. Impossible, said Mr. Happy. Hello, he said. You're good at the impossible. Can you think of a hobby that Mr. Grumble would enjoy? That! Waiting said, in an aeroplane. <laughs> that, said Mr. Impossible. Yes, said Mr. Happy and Mr. Grumble together. Would be impossible, said Mr. Impossible. Grrr, growled Mr. Grumble. Stop, stop, stop. Hi. Um, Hi. It was whilst drinking a cup of tea the next morning that Mr. Happy had an idea. Perfect, obvious, uh, obviously idea. He rushed round to Mr. Grumble's house. I've got it, cried Mr. Happy. You can take up fishing. Fishing? But I hate fishing. I know. But what do you do while you're fishing? asked Mr. Happy. I don't know. 
like you grumble, said Mr. Habib. And what do you like doing most of all? I like... And then it dawned on Mr. Grumble. I like grumbling. Mr. Grumble looked at Mr. Happy, and then, for the very first time in a long, long time, he smiled. A very small smile, but a smile all the same. And that's Mr. Happy Bob. Thank you very much.